piece, Blue Green Hill, was written for Boston Musica Viva in America about 10 years ago, but its origins are further in the past when I was touring India with a group of musicians from Birmingham, we suddenly decided we needed an overture and in a huge hurry I arranged a little suite of Scottish folk tunes. Then when I came to write the Boston piece, which became Blue Green Hill, I had a look at these tunes, which were all scribbled down, and instead of quoting them, I've taken little chunks out of them and built much bigger melodies. The title, Blue Green Hill, refers to a famous Scottish tune, which is called Tullach Gorham. And that is a transcription of a Gaelic phrase, Tullach Gorham. Tullach is the hill, and Gorham, I understand, I'm no Gaelic speaker, could mean either blue or green, depending on the context. So that's my title, Blue Green Hill. And I think if you're looking for some listening posts during this shortish piece of about 13 minutes or so, it's in three movements officially. I would think most people play it all the way through. So listen out for the beginning, that is a big cello solo. And then beginning of the second movement, it's a kind of jazz style bass on the piano. So something quite different from what you think folk music sounds like. And finally, the beginning of the third movement, there is a flute solo. I've been asked, what are my top pieces of advice for emerging composers? Well, the first one is compose, write as much as you can. It's like practicing an instrument. Next thing is listen, get to know as much music as you can of, of all different kinds. Hopefully that's why you became a composer in the first place. Third thing I would say is play as much music as you can. Don't think you have to give up an instrument because you aren't one of the top players or even take up another instrument. You will learn a lot sociologically as well as musically from that. And I think my final suggestion is turn up to as many things as you can. Come in person to concerts or conferences or meetings or whatever. We've all got very good at online in our profession. We had to, but the people I always remember are the people I've got to know in person. So. Try and be one of those people. What is coming up for me in the next year? Well, two interesting things for a personal reason. Number one, I'm going to be reaching my 70th birthday and I think there will be some interesting performances. It'll certainly be a chance for me to hear some of my music played in, in quite a few places. And the other thing is that for the last 10 years, I've had the position of Master of the Queen's and now King's music, and that is a 10 year job. So next year I will be stopping and looking forward to some spare time. Also looking forward to somebody else taking up the job with new energy. We don't know who it'll be yet, but it will be interesting. <laughs>